You know, you would think that uh, Washington, having uh, had the good fortune of success at Trenton, Trenton on Christmas night, um, 1776, would uh, collect his winnings and call it a day. Um, he'd been through a very tough campaign. He'd lost New York. Uh, he'd been uh, chased across New Jersey. And so you would think that a sensible man would uh, know when to, uh, to uh, take his winnings and go home. He doesn't do that. And uh, again, I think we see here a, 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 a mind, a military mind of a very high order operating. He crosses the Trenton, he crosses the Delaware River again, he goes back to Trenton, occupies Trenton again, and basically uh, dares the British to come attack him in Trenton. Again, his thinking of uh, how to prepare for the second crossing, how to deploy his forces, um, is pretty impressive. Now, he's being improvisational at that point. He gets back across the Assunpink Creek, and um, now what? Um, he's in danger of being trapped, uh, and yet the boldness continues to be the major key in his personality and his generalship at that time. Uh, and he decides rather than trying to scurry away either into the southern Jerseys or get back across the Delaware, which would have been very difficult at that point, to go the other way and to outflank the British and go to Princeton and to take down the small garrison that's been left there. again luck intrudes and the the weather turns abruptly cold and it's a lot easier to move across these frozen roads than it would have been 12 hours earlier. Uh, it's very, very impressive to me as somebody who studied um, generals all my professional life and had spent a lot of time with some very fine generals in the Second World War and other wars. Um, I think when you see Washington doubling down in second, Prince, in second Trenton and Princeton, uh, that's when you think, this guy really has, he's a man of parts. Uh, he's a real general. And I think that uh, in Americans thinking about George Washington as our first and greatest general uh, ought to think of second Trenton and Princeton as uh, proof positive that he is the, uh, he's the, the man of the hour and he is, uh, he is the general that will lead us to victory.